66, about 13 degrees right now. You're watching Breakfast Television on City. Thanks for turning us on this morning. Um, this is an important part of the program. Yes, it is. This is where Andrew Schultz really shines about how much he knows about bachelors and bachelorettes yes. and relationships and different types of rodeos, you just said. It'll be salacious. Very. Yeah. It'll be nefarious. It'll be fractious. It fractious. Was it's going to be a For fractious sure. one. Uh, this was an interesting episode because we're down to five and they're flipping format in that they're going to have those overnight dates before they do the hometowners, all right? And we know why they're doing this because, uh, you know what? Uh, Nick and uh, Caitlin already had some special time together. We learned that last week. So they kind of have to even the Special time field. meaning what? <laughs> special time. We're leaving it at that. It's okay. a family Alone show. Alone time, okay. Ted Hemsley. So finally she has a three-person uh, three date. She gets Joe aside and uh, lowers the boom on Joe. Thank you and good night, Joe. Here it is. Not no worries, man. Okay. Can you give me a hug or something? I guess. He immediately shuts down, right? No kidding. Yeah. She's like, hey, we're not going to work out. No worries, man. And he's a zombie. He is not impressed. Some people are saying, I run on some social media, why, you know, why is he being so cold now? Why is he being so cold? He opened himself up. Men have a heart, ladies out there. <laughs> he opened himself up only to be shot down. On television. Yeah, and then yeah, she's, right? she seems like really rattled after this. And uh, she doesn't know how to she deal her. Respect. Well, yeah, that's what I don't get is I, I'm not sure when, like, people get rattled yeah. by this stuff. Because you've just kind of blown someone away yeah. from this contest, right? And, yeah. And you're surprised at their reactions? She's very dramatic. She yeah. tells these guys she's so rattled. There'll be no rose handed on this date. You have to wait till the actual ceremony. And uh, at the ceremony, by the way, Jared gets the bye bye So Jared's gone now. Okay. okay. So I'll Jared's gone. Wait, sorry. Who's Jared? That's not even the salacious part. He's the guy that looks like the magician. He's got the facial hair. Kind of looks creepy in my books. Okay. All right. Then, Caitlin <laughs> has to tell Sean that she went too far with Nick, because in everybody's minds, uh, Sean is the front runner. She takes So, says, how many guys are left now? This now makes four. Four, okay. Try okay. to keep up. So, with these four left, <laughs> she takes Sean aside and says, Sean, I got something to tell you, and you're not going to like it. And here's what that looked like. <laughs> right now. Um, you know, I had that, like, one on one date with Nick. Um, a night we went back to my place and I just feel like it went too far. Oh my goodness. It went too far. She said she feels like it went too yes. far? Yes. Yeah. I might be editing for television purposes in the morning. <laughs> oh. They okay. did their thing. But no, no, I get that, but I'm, I'm just <laughs> curious of her phrasing. Well, no, no, because it makes yeah. her look better. Yeah, exactly. I, she's a Canadian girl. I yeah. want her to be... And look at him sweat. He oh starts boy. to sweat like he just ran He's the like, marathon, really? right? Okay. I thought they already knew this thing. No, 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 no. Not exactly. They had suspicions. Yeah, suspicion. didn't, uh... It's confirmed. He has to say, I gotta, like, go to the... Give me some time. So well, he goes course. to the washroom. He stands up and gets out of there for a minute and has some yeah. alone time. Okay, so as a result of this, uh, we have, uh, it's in Ireland. This is seventh week in Ireland. Ireland seems to be the case. Like, they don't want to leave. I don't know why. <laughs> they're, they're like in Ireland. Okay. It's like the Bachelorette <laughs> Ireland. So they're still in Ireland, and uh, in the end of the episode, Sean decides he's going to confront Nick because he doesn't like Nick. Nick yeah. is John Lithgow Jr. John Lithgow Jr. Yes. looks exactly yeah. like John yeah. Lithgow. He looks just like him. So he, he goes in, knocks on the door. This is the, uh, the meeting. I just want to get what I've been feeling off my chest because I don't want to be the guy talking behind your back like a lot of the other guys have okay. and not be man enough to say it to your face. So that's why I'm here. I don't understand your reasons for being here for Caitlin. I truly don't think that's the only reason why you're here. And oh yeah, uh, all right, lays it down. So he thinks not only is this guy like messing with the bachelorette, but he's messing with the guys just to mess with people. He just wants to be there, right? Yeah. And they, 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 he's not there for the right reasons, yeah. which is the heart. The heart. Uh, but the this sets up uh, next episode. <laughs> You've got you've got Nick, uh, you've got Sean, yeah. and you've got Ben H. Out of these three, which one's Ben H? Ben H. Is the uh, I don't know how he looks like one of the Brady boys, you know, from the Brady Bunch. He's got oh, the dark okay. hair, okay. dashing the descriptions smile. Descriptions are incredible. So Ben okay. H. and Nick and Sean, who are going to have the two hometown dates? We'll find out. And there's going to be some fireworks at the beginning. Funny it was Sean and Nick uh, came to blow us apart. We would love for this to take up the whole show. Mondays at nine. I'm Probably city. could. Seven oh one. You're watching Breakfast Television on City.